Okay, so if you are an agency owner or any kind of online service business owner and you are doing less than 10K plus uh, monthly current revenue, then you almost need to watch to the end of this video, okay? Because I'm gonna reveal everything you actually need to know about scaling a service, online service business um, to uh, plus 10K monthly current revenue, okay? So let's get straight into it. First of all, mindset. So the first step to building something great that you've never been able to build before, right? is to understand that the person you currently are is simply unscalable, incapable of doing so, okay? So if you have, if you tried to do something before in your life, build this business, um, do an agency, do a coaching business, whatever it is, and you haven't been able to do it right now, you haven't been able to do it before, it's because the person you currently are, right? Your habits, how you think, your limitations, your self-limited beliefs, simply cannot get there. Okay, so the first step, it, 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 it isn't even about like, oh, okay, you need to do this like really good business tactic and th th this outreach script's gonna help you. No, 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 you need to look inwards and um, this is gonna be, this can be much, much more uh, beneficial for you, okay? So you currently hold limitations about yourself, which you are the creator of, okay? So always keep in mind, okay, you are the creator of these limitations. These limitations that you put into your mind um, that hold back your potential, right? So people always talk about the self-limited beliefs in a numerical format. So they say, ah, oh, 10K per month self-limited belief, okay? Because there'll be a variety of people watching this video. Some of you might be at 15K, some of you might be at 5K, some of you might be at zero, Okay, and the people at zero, I just want to say to you right now, just to kind of test this belief pattern. Um, if I was to say to you, yeah, like you, you will make 10K per month one day. You, you're trying to like lie to your brain. You're trying to go, oh yeah, of course I will. Yeah, 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 I will. But you kind of don't believe that, do you? Right, you, you just don't believe that. You don't believe that it can. You, you're thinking, you know, the goal is 3K, so you don't have to work a job. Trust me, when you, when you get to like even 10K, you realize it's, it's really not that much. Like there's so much money out there in the world. Um, but so we have to take a step back and confront the belief that you are currently having self-limited beliefs about, okay? Like you are having, so people always talk about, okay, 10K per month, but you are having self-limited beliefs about your ability to perform a deep work session at a high level tomorrow. Start there, okay? You have, if I was to say to you right now, tomorrow you will um, wake up completely productive, you'll eat clean food, you'll go to the gym, and then you will start your deep work session, which will do three hours of deep work in. You have a self limited belief about that. So, okay, so don't start with this, oh, I have a 10K per month self limited belief and trying to confront that. Start, you know, confronting the, um, the fact that you can't even sit down and do work, okay? That is, the, that is the belief that you currently need to fight, okay? So, start there. Another principle that I kind of want to dig into, and it's mega, mega important, but I just want to say, if you're thinking of skipping the mindset part and going to the tactics, you will, you will fare anyway, okay? I just want to say, you are an entrepreneur at war, okay? This is just going to be absolutely authentic. You know, I know other guys, you know, just tell you, oh, you know, pretending like we're all in this together, it, that's for pussies, okay? That's for people that don't have the fighting spirit. That's for people that... Um, don't want to actually be competitive, okay? This online business space is competitive, right? Like, I should technically should be t t telling you right now, oh, yeah, guys, like, we're in this together. I'm going to help you out. Like, you should invest in me. No, no, no. Like, I'm technically against you as well. That's a fantastic mindset to have. As much as people like me can provide high-quality programs and free value, your success is up to you. It's completely up to you. No matter how many uh, mentors you invest in, you invest in um, the free value you digest, the notes you're currently taking in this video, it, your success is up to you. And the knowledge of this will actually help you tremendously, okay? So get rid of this pussy mindset that we're all in this together, everyone's your friend, you're networking with people in Discord who are all losers doing zero, zero dollars per month as well, complete waste of time. Um, you are at war, okay? Simple as that. In life, we are often told to suppress our anger and choose the blissful thoughts, the happy thoughts, think positive, right? Um, but I just want to say, most people who program this into you are broke with low IQ. You know, you start to notice when you get older, the people that you used to take advice from, um, you look at their life and you think, oh, wait, well, I wouldn't want to be them, so why do I care, right? It's like that neighbor that always says, oh, yeah, when I was 20, um, you know, I, I, I wish I could go back to my twenties. Fantastic time. You know, I was partying and stuff. But it's like now their life's so like terrible. I don't want to swear because I'm monetized on YouTube. So, um, but anyway, 
I don't know how many times you've watched me before or whether this may be the first or last time you watch this channel. If there's one thing I want you to take from this is that I'm begging you to embrace your anger. I'm begging you to embrace your frustration and manifest this power into unlimited power. Okay, have the mindset that business is war, especially something like an SMA, which I guess most of you are running, where the barrier to entry is so low. Someone could send an outreach message today, and just like that, they are a competitor of yours. Okay, and what that you know, you you have the knowledge of that, and you're not going to fight like a real war. You're you're not going to be competitive. You're going to keep this mindset that oh, we're all in this together, and we're networking in the Discord, yay, and you're all broke, zero. Okay. Hold the mindset that, no, 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 as, as, as much as like, oh, you want to be together and stuff, this is war, okay? Business is war. Someone can, yeah, like I said, someone can send an outreach message today and they are now your competitor, okay? So don't, don't have this mindset that, you know, oh, you, you need to be play nice guy, okay? Embrace your anger, embrace your terrible thoughts. Your parents are against you, the people you know who are against you, the world wants you to fail, right? You cannot afford to be against you. Okay, everyone's rooting against you. Okay, everybody you know is rooting against you. You cannot afford to be against you. That's the one person you've got who understands why you want to do this and you're going against him. Okay, um, yeah, so cut negative self talk out of your mind, start talking positive and progress. Nobody knew about the business, okay? When I started, I didn't know anything. You're not going to know anything. Months are going to compound. You're going to start learning. You're going to start signing clients. You're going to start retaining clients. You're going to um, have this problem. You're going to deal with this stress. You're going to deal with this issue. And you're going to get better. Cut this negative self-talk. Like, oh, will this, will this work? I don't know if this is going to work. Shall I do this? Shall I do that? Cut all that out. Start talking positive and start progressing. Another thing, time is your ally. If you are above the age of 18 watching this and haven't completely yet cut out proclivities like video games, movies, TV shows, junk food, be real and all these apps you scroll through, you are seriously behind. Like I don't really know who's watching this video, right, age-wise and where, where you are on your entrepreneurship journey. But if you are above the age of 18 and you do all of these things, you are a pussy. Like you, you should go off this channel. This isn't for you, okay? Go watch, you know, something else, right? Time is the only asset you have. When a month goes by in my life, my businesses are evolved. My mindset is business. Uh, my mindset is innovating. Okay, my month is your five months. The things I can do in one month with my business, with my personal brand, with my companies, at the moment. Okay, for some of you, of course, like not every single one of you, but most of you is your five months. You're moving really slow. Okay, and that that actually that just needs to be scrapped straight away. Okay, so you are moving slow. Understand that the 2023 online business space moves extremely fast. There are people who need money all across the world, fighting and hustling, okay? You do not have time to be wasting time. There is people, your competitors in this space, who have less fortunate lives than you, who will do anything for the success, okay? You sim- who are dedicating every single minute, every hour, every second, as soon as they get home from school, in college, okay? You simply do not have the time to um, do this other stuff, okay, and keep moving slow. You need to move quicker, okay? You absolutely need to move quicker. You're gonna learn quicker, you're gonna fail quicker, you're gonna make money quicker, okay? Then when you're making money, this is fun, right? When, you, when, you're, at the, when you're at the start and you're struggling, and it's annoying, it, it's dead, right? It's, it's super dead, right? But when you're making money, this stuff is fun, okay? And you start evolving. So cut all that out. Moving on, right? The importance of skill, I'll never understand how, how people start their SMMA and just because they've done an X amount of outreach think they deserve to sign the client. How many times do you see people, oh, you know, Luke, how, many, um, how much outreach messages do I have to send to sign a client? I don't know. Your offer might be dead. You might be lucky. You might, your brand might be dead. Your outreach script might be dead. Your closing might be dead. I don't know. It, it, to think that this is some like video game where it's like, oh, okay, if you click this button this amount of times, you'll, do, you'll unlock some sort of um, armor or some, some bullshit, right? This is business. This is the real world. This is serious, okay? So t- t- for you guys to come in and think that, oh, just because I've done 300 outreach messages, I should sign a client. No, no, no. The client is a person. The client is an individual. The client has a business and you have no skill. You have no genuine skill to bring of a business. You are not an asset. You need to make yourself an asset. You are currently not an asset, and that is why you haven't made money. Full stop. People would get paid for skill, okay? The level of skill um, a person possesses is how much they're going to get paid. A hairdresser gets paid $15 or, you know, 
$25 within 30, 40 minutes of cutting hair is because it's not that much of a skill. It's not completely life-changing, okay? It, it's, it's easy to learn. Something like a business consultant who is at the top of his game will get paid two grand an hour. At the moment, my time is worth a lot of money. If you were to pay me for one-on-one coaching, I don't do one-on-one coaching, just get in the private engine network, way better. Um, but say if I was to do it, just to kind of give an example of how much an entrepreneur's time is worth, you would have to pay me a lot of money because my time is simply worth a lot of money, okay? That is the skill, okay? You currently do not have an asset to bring to the business, okay? So if I was you, I'd be writing down, how can I make myself a genuine asset? Just because you've got some editor off Fiverr, you think you're worthy of signing some sort of 2K retainer. This is not how business works. This is not how this online game works. I'm just going to break it down authentically. How much better would it be, like, try and put yourself in my business, in my, in my personal brand, in my, in my space. How much easier would it be for me to completely tell you guys what you want to hear and at the end have some call to action to my program? How easy would that be for me right now? But I'm telling you, if you do not have skill, this might not work. Okay, so take that as you will. You know, unsub if you if you want like the 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 bullshit tactics. Oh yeah, guys, like this is how you sign, or the, 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 this is how you exactly sign the clients. No, no, no. If you don't have a skill, this might not work. So you have to learn. Um, so sorry, so building a high ticket service takes time. You have to learn your target market's genuine problem they're having. You can measure the value of your service by the difficulty it is to build. E.g., Facebook ads with a guarantee of an extra ROAS, otherwise money back, plus a lead gen system is hard to deliver, therefore has more value. You get scared and you're trying to do services that are incredibly easy to, to, to deliver for and you're expecting to sign 2K retainers, but the truth is if it's not difficult to build, then it has no value. The service I currently pitch right now is genuinely hard to build. It's genuinely hard to perform. It's hard to get results, therefore it has value. If your service is easy to deliver and the barrier to entry is low, then it's just like, okay, bro, who's going to pay you? Okay. People will only go ever going to pay you for the leverage of skill you possess. When building a service you are going to bring to the market, think to yourself, genuinely think to yourself, what is the barrier of entry to deliver the same service at this level? i say that again. What is the barrier of entry to deliver this same service at this level? So the inputs of your service, how good it is, the guarantee you get, the uh, inputs that create the outputs. How hard is it for your cousin to start tomorrow, go try and deliver the same service to the same people and have the same results? If it's pretty easy, you might not survive in this online game. Okay, simple as that. My agency will scale to 30k per month because the barrier of entry to deliver the same service is so high. I have absolute faith my service, my agency will deliver to 30k per month because the, the barrier to entry of that particular thing I do is so high. Now, some of you pussies have just gone, oh, let's figure out what he's doing and let's do that and let's copy and let's copy the headline. You don't under, like, I, I, cr- I so, so cringe when I see people completely copying like a funnel page, a headline, exact offer because they do not simply understand how business works. I can just tell, I can just tell like you're going to go on to drop shipping or you're going to do Amazon FBA in, in three months when it's not working, right? Because you, you don't know how to build your own stuff. Running a successful company is all about having a spine of talent slash skill to operate in every single department. If you do not have genuine skill, genuine tactics, genuine systems, you will crumble apart. So have a look at your sales team. Can it be better? Your appointment setting team. So your outbound, your conversation workflow, stuff like that. Your service fulfillment team. Your content slash branding. How good your content? How good your branding? Without executing key tasks without skill, you will get found out eventually. You, you can't survive in this game by faking it or having low skill, having dead input, having dead knowledge. You, you get found out. Your systems will fall apart. Acquisition will be slow. Service delivery will be subpar. Your agency falls apart. You're making no money. Okay, so it's imperative you build genuine talent. You build actual skill within your business. Okay, that's how you're going to survive in this game. So moving on to client acquisition. The reason I didn't say uh, mindset then like, oh, how do you get clients is because this is super, super important. Like having genuine skill is why I haven't got paid. So client acquisition is how you print cash in your business. Acquisition seems to be the primary bottleneck with every single new agency owner. Without a consistent flow of acquisition, your company falls apart. 
Okay, so without the process of, okay, new deal, new book, cool booked, cool booked, cool booked. Okay, outbound, go outbound there. Okay, a couple of days. Okay, this one will lead, send a VSL, bank all booked. Without the consistent flow of acquisition, your company falls apart. Because without, cap- without capital, you can't scale. With capital, you can scale. With clients, you can build a prestigious offer with credibility. Once you have that client database with a prestigious offer, you can charge higher retainers. You're going to be much more likely to sign your clients. You can leverage your case studies. You can, you can literally you can scale with capital and credibility, right? But it all comes through client acquisition. Without the, the, the process of signing clients, you, can, you simply cannot scale or you know, make this your actual income. So as a founder, it's important to fundamentally understand the two forms of acquisition. So this is outbound and inbound leads. I'm going to explain the both of them. Outbound, outbound sales is where you go out and find prospect to pitch your services. E.g. a cold IGDM would be a form of outbound acquisition. That would be outbound sales. You're going out your way. It's a cold approach. You're going to prospects who have no idea about you or your services and selling them the prospect of getting on a call. Okay, you're settling them the idea of getting on a potential sales call, okay? This is a cold method. You're going out on IGDM, you're finding some coach, you're finding me, <laughs> and you're going, oh, hey, I do this thing and I sell it. I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about your service. I'm not warmed up. It's a cold approach, but it's, it's outbound, okay? I'm not, I'm not coming to you. You're coming to me. Um, outbound allows you to send high volume, which is your savior. Okay, so the reason why, like you, you probably heard that and think, oh wait, but how does outbound ever work then if it's so difficult? The reason why it works is because you can send such, such high volume, right? Cold outbound prospecting is an extremely powerful tool to acquire clients. Here are the most usual popular ways. So you've got Instagram DM, where I literally raided um, Instagram DM at a time. Um, Facebook DM, LinkedIn DM, Twitter outbound, cold email, cold call and walk-ins there's your form uh, for an smma for a social media marketing agency how the forms of acquisition you can leverage usual ones instagram dm facebook dm linkedin twitter cold email cold call walk-ins now this is the part where average and expert agency owners are separated so agency owners that can actually do bits in the market they're going to sign clients they're going to bring on clients they're going to build a fantastic agency this is where they're separated Agency owner A and B can send the same amount of cold DMs, okay? But agency owner B could have a 40% higher probability of attracting interest due to a few things. Okay, so don't think because, okay, agency owner A, agency owner B have the same service, right? They're both going on Instagram DM. There's a few things that could separate the probability of agency owner B, A, landing a client, or landing a reply, landing a sales conversation uh, compared to, owner B and I'm going to run through a few of them so one is outreach scripts most outreach scripts are used are genuinely pathetic I get about two a day that I just cannot believe people are using them and and, and when people say I'm not getting any replies like why no why is no one replying to me and, and then I see their outreach script I'm like oh okay right, that's why you're not getting replies and obviously no one would ever reply to this okay and I can guarantee some like 70 of percent of you still watching this video which by the way congratulations because you're a little bit ahead of the uh the guys that have such a bad attention span and, and couldn't scale and probably gone onto a cold email template video i can guarantee at least 80 percent of you your average message is completely terrible it's completely unscalable too long too silly no no iq behind it um links in in this script uh just, just oh, terrible okay I have I have a lot to learn. Okay, I'm not a perfect agency owner by any means. I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to scale. You're going to see my journey um, across like five years, ten years, as my as, as I um, scale my company. Okay, scale my companies. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future, right? But I'm not perfect at the moment. In fact, I have a lot to learn. But one thing I can genuinely say myself, my business partner, our expert at is getting replies in the DMs. That's one thing I genuinely say. I've not mastered because you can never become too good at anything. But that is my strongest point, hiring and DMs, hiring and acquisition, getting replies. In fact, at one point when we onboarded seven, seven, around seven clients in just over two weeks, okay, we had a 38 message reply rate. Okay, so I'd, I'd admit actually two of those clients were referrals, so it, that wasn't from the replies, but we had a 38 message reply rate. Do you know how crazy that is? Do you know how you're sending 200 right now and no one's replying? We had a 38 message reply rate, okay? We recently launched a new outbound prospecting campaign and we got a Loom request within 22 messages on Harvey's account. 
How 22 messages someone sent a Loom request. Scripts have to be short. They have to be straight to the point. And they have to show examples with a no-brainer incentive, e.g. a free short or VSL request. I can't share my average script I'm using now because unlike the other guys you've potentially seen online who are YouTubers doing SMA, I still run my agency, so I don't want to go broke. I don't want to put myself in competition, right? The one I'm using now is so, so powerful. I just know within 50 messages, I'm going to get an interested reply. That is a key, key skill you have to learn. Two, industry expert. Humans evolve with the same principles built inside of us. Okay, One variable that is absolutely certain in human psychology is that we are attracted to the best. We're attracted to the number one. Okay, We're attracted to the best looking girl. We're attracted to the, the best system, the best sales, the best appointments there, the best YouTuber. The, you, know, you, you are attracted to number one. You are not attracted to number two. You need to frame your brand slash services as a genuine expert. Clients like the reinsurance that they, that they have a professional on their side. Being an industry expert allows you to charge much higher client retainers. The best way to do this is to produce content talking about the problem you help, you help solve. Okay, Without becoming an industry expert, you will always be, a, in the eyes of your prospect, a low-ticket service. To evolve into a high-ticket service plus increase the likelihood of actually signing said clients, you have to frame yourself as an industry expert. At one point or another, whether this takes one to three months, or if you do this in a year, or if you build the systems out for this is a year, then you're an industry expert, a real like industry expert. You must be prioritizing this. Okay? So that's with the outbound, right? If you have genuinely good outreach scripts and, you, and you're framed as an industry expert, and of course you have a good offer, you have a good pitch, you're messaging the right people, you will stand a much higher chance. You'll, be, you'll become agency owner A with a four, um, sorry, Agency owner B, with 40% high probability of attracting interest due to those things. Inbound. A successful founder knows there's nothing better than and then acquiring an inbound lead. Okay, there's nothing sexier. There's no there's no better feeling than an inbound lead. It is gen it is genuinely the, the best feeling in the world. This is where the prospect comes to you. Instead of you going out there and trying to sell your service, cold outbound, cold, buy, buy my thing, buy my thing, no one cares. <laughs> Instead, they come to you. My agency has signed a 3.8K content deal because the client came to my Instagram page where I branded as an industry expert and simply messaged, I need help with X, send the invoice. I was actually really confused at the start. Like, I didn't know what was going on. He literally said, send the contract. I was like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, you know, obviously, you, you haven't just said you need you need content and you want me, me to send the invoice, but it turns out he did. Sent him the invoice, signed the client, went from there. Perfect, okay? Inbound lead. You need inbound lead flow, okay? Even if you don't have it at the start, I understand that you'll just be outreaching, you'll be outreaching, cold outreach, cold outreach, cold outreach. At one point, you have to have the knowledge prior to um, having the inbound lead flow system that at one point, your agency has to have both. It has to have both. Otherwise, it... You, you, all, you, all I want as an agency owner, all I want as an entrepreneur is absolute certainty that when I jump on my calendar, there is going to be a booked call from somewhere. That is the main priority. If there's no booked calls, if there's no warm conversations, you will simply go broke. Okay? You simply cannot scale. And you simply cannot live this lifestyle where I wake up at 8, come on my computer, check on the team, check on things and chill. It's a beautiful life, right? Traveling plans in the future as well. You cannot have that if there isn't a consistent lead flow. And the way we can do this is outbound and inbound. Marketing is about attention, okay? At scale, inbound leads are the formula to collect serious cash as well. I'll say it right now. At scale, inbound leads are the formula to collect serious cash. Marketing is all about attention. People invest hundreds of millions in year, a year in paid media. Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, uh, YouTube ads, okay? For one thing, attention, okay? The attention of someone. The advantage we have as entrepreneurs in 2023 is that we can generate masses of free attention leveraging platforms like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. Okay, that's the, that's the beauty of running a business in 2023, especially an online business. We can generate attention for free. Start by building a brand on social media for high amounts of profitable leverage in the future. Okay? Your Instagram has to, has to make you money in the future. Your TikTok has to be a lead funnel. Your YouTube has to be a lead funnel. 
okay? Only with this built up can we have profitable leverage in the future. Keep that in mind. Team building slash systems. So team slash systems building. A company is only as profitable as the quality of systems running it. At scale, you cannot do X, Y, and Z tasks. That's why it's important to hire employees to run key automations. Um, so the most common first hire within the agency model is an appointment sale, right? Like hiring, hiring an outbound appointment sale. Um, instead of running around finding leads, messaging them, putting them in the d- data, going on Instagram, going to the explore page like a loser, putting in the average tracking sheet, you can delegate the task by leveraging a free dollar power VA. Without key inputs of the system running each and every single day, your agency will start to slow down and become more difficult to scale. The process behind finding talented contractors, training them up, putting them into your team requires going on uh, platforms like Upwork, posting a job post, then putting the hiring uh, the contractor into a hiring system. I've got a ton of videos on the hiring system, why we use it, how to leverage it, how to build it out. Um, and then go through further training sessions using Loom videos and shadowing and one-on-one shadowing sessions, right? To train the employees to get them up to where they need to be. You need team. You can't do it on your own. You can't, you can't be the appointment setter. You can't go do this and that. So the other employees you may hire are fulfillment specialists, which I highly recommend. You should never be doing the service yourself. You should never be delivering the service yourself. It's stupid. You're a freelancer. It's taking up way too much of your time. This is, no one does this at scale. No, no expert, no great does this. Remote closers, account managers, growth specialists, etc. Okay, so there's many people you can you can hire at scale, and that's probably going to be the main ones at the start. Do not be giddy about profit margins. Okay, when you sign your first couple clients, you may think, oh, I can just I can just do it myself. You know, this is working. I've just signed a client or just perhaps run with one appointment sir. Okay, but do not be that. Na- do not be naive. Although it may feel nice at the start, you know, having 80 to 90 percent margins and you're, and you're scaling and it's like, ah, oh, damn, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making money, but I'm keeping money. Your system will become simply unscalable or worse crumble. Okay, you are the founder of the company. You are not a freelance appointment sir. You're not a media buyer. You're not an editor. You're not a manager all in one. You cannot do all in one. No one's done all in one. Why would you want to do all in one? I want to have a life where I come into my company. I come into my online business. I do minimal work. I oversee the operation. I make make a couple of important decisions per month. And I live the life I want to live. Okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be editing. I don't want to be account managing i don't want to be the growth specialist i don't want to jump on shadowing session after shadowing session i want to be the founder you are not a freelance you you're just not all this okay and the last one it's just uh we're nearly there guys <laughs> the last one is client retention if you want to make your agency your recurring income stream and live the life you want to lead it's imperative you master client retention Without your clients signing on month after month with your agency, you run the risk of going back down to zero. Client retention can be mastered in a few ways. So one is like having a sustainable offer. Okay, So evaluate how you can build a service that will be needed month after month after month. Ask yourself, will my client absolutely need my service at this price again? How easy is it for him to find someone with the exact same inputs? Think about ways you can add value to your offer to ensure your client has to stay. It's just a, it's a necessity. Okay, you bring so much value. Um, if the barrier of entry for your service is too low, you run the risk of having extremely high churn rate. This is super dangerous. Okay, due to the high competition with the same inputs, inputs slash, slash skill. So remember, I said earlier about you you want to avoid the situation where your cousin can start tomorrow. Have regularly the same service delivery as you right so deliver the same service to the same point with the same guarantees with the same service and start tomorrow send the same outreach message and he has your service you can't start my service tomorrow it's impossible as much as you try you 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 cannot do it you don't have the knowledge you don't have the input you don't have the leverage okay your primary focus should be building a service which has a low barrier of entry where it's difficult to replicate the skills of input you deliver as having a, as well as having a long-term plan for you and your client. Because without long-term planning, you will have high churn rate. Having high rate of churn is dangerous for any business. A business cannot survive with high, with high churn rates. 
Okay, how you're going to get consistent cash, how you're going to collect cash month after month after month, is having your clients sign on again and again and again. As much as you know, bringing on new clients, scaling the systems, blah blah blah. Two, build a great relationship. So, a quick story: we signed a mid content deal. Some of you would think it's high ticket, but for us, it's fairly mid. Um, and two months later, he completely switched his business slash content plans. So we wasn't doing the, the original thing he was going for, which turned out to be a high ticket for us. But he chose us. The point is he chose us. He had a completely different business, completely different. It was still like content online, but it, it was different. It wasn't for his personal brand, but he chose us. Why? Because he had, because he built, because we built trust and a relationship with our client. Jumped on calls with him. He's my mate. I've got his number. You know, stuff like that. I, I want to work with him. I'm excited to work with him. I'm excited to grow his business. It isn't just a client I steal money from. No, no, no. Like I, I actually, I like working with him. It's a joy for me. Don't be one of those agencies where you are hesitant to talk or consult with your client and almost build some sort of freelancer, hostile relationship. Okay, no. Your client's business is now your business. Have your genuine best interest for your client and demonstrate that with him um, and he's never gonna, you know, he's never gonna argue with that. He wants you to have it. You want, he wants you to be genuinely interested. Your client is never gonna turn down free advice, guidance, or support. He's simply not. Okay, I, I, like even me, right? I, you can come on. I say I was your client. <laughs> um, even like if you were saying that some of the deadest piece of advice that I'm never gonna take. As long as you, I feel you have genuine interest, and as long as I feel you're trying to do something good. I'm always going to take that. I'm always going to appreciate the free gestures. I'm always going to appreciate the free help. Free. Actually have good service delivery. It's embarrassing how many agencies nowadays simply have terrible service delivery. It's, it's so cringe. Rushing to get a client, sending crazy amounts of volumes of outreach just because they're little kids and they're, they're giddy and they want to get paid only to deliver dead results. The client is also a human being who has chosen to invest into your services. It's a very serious thing, okay? It's nothing to take lightly. Work your very hardest to truly deliver fantastic results for your client to a point which they are in awe. They're like, wow, this was a fantastic service. Above anything, this would be the primary reason why your client signs on again. Signs on again. If you don't have good service delivery, if you deliver a sub per service, if your service is dead, he simply won't sign on again, okay? You need to make sure of this. That's going to be the video on, uh, that's going to be the free training, 30 minute training session on how any agency owner can go from starting their agency and scaling their company to 10K plus monthly recurring revenue. Um, if you haven't added me on Instagram, it's lukejackson.mx. Um, so go add me over there, send me a little message about your current situation and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I hope that provided some, some free value for you and uh, I'll see you in the next video.